Google Ads versus Facebook Ads. Which one is the better platform for your business? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to our very first episode of Marketing Takes where we debate the pros and the cons of different digital marketing channels and strategies. And today I have two people joining us from our team to talk about, of course, Google Ads or Facebook Ads and which one's better for your business. So welcome to the show, Anthony and Catherine. How are you guys doing today? Doing great, Sean. How about you? Doing great. <laughs> doing amazing. Doing amazing. So I know everybody's excited to hear about what you guys think when it comes to Google Ads versus Facebook Ads. So let's go ahead and hop into it, starting with you, Anthony. What does Facebook Ads have that maybe Google Ads do not have? Yeah, that's a great question, and I actually get that asked a lot. Um, well, with Facebook, what ends up happening is with Facebook, you're able to cast a wider net to those that don't know they need your product service right so with facebook you're getting in front of people that uh you're targeting based off behaviors likes interests demographics google ads what you'll find is that they're actively searching for the solutions or products that you're offering so long story short to answer your question sean um, with facebook you're able to cast a wider net to get in front of those that don't know anything about your products and services and you're there to engage with them to let them know about your products and services so that's pretty much what i would say about facebook Makes sense. Catherine, what do you think? Yeah, so Google advertising provides a warm audience to someone. Uh, they're searching for your business or they're searching for your product. So if they find you using Google, you know that they were actively searching for you. So Google actually helps new customers find you rather than the other way around. Makes sense. Now, when it comes to Google ads and Facebook ads, it's widely known that Google ads cost more per click than Facebook ads may cost. So what do we have to say about that? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think um, it depends on who you are and where you're at in your business, right? So I think if you're an established business and you have a higher product uh, or cost for product, I think Google ads make a lot of sense if you can afford that higher advertising cost. Um, Facebook and Instagram, you know, it's not pay per click like you mentioned, it's pay per impression. So you could tend to spread your dollars a lot further. However, like we mentioned in the first question, doesn't get you as qualified of a lead, but it does tend to spread your dollars a lot further. Um, so I guess to wrap up that question and the answer, it depends on where you're at in your business and what you can actually afford for advertising. Catherine, what do you think? Yeah, so it is true. Google ads typically are more expensive, but the buyer's intent is higher. So you're going to see a higher conversion rate so you're paying for a warm lead versus paying for a cold lead. Makes sense. Yeah, that definitely plays a big factor into your audience, right? So Anthony's basically saying that, hey, you know, you're able to reach more people at a lower cost and then you have to kind of sell them a little bit more. And Captain, on the other hand, is saying you pay a little bit more, but you have to do a little bit less selling. So that makes a lot of sense. Now let's talk about, you know, Google just having so much traffic on its platform. It has way more visitors than Facebook has, of course. Um, but Facebook has more <clears throat> more engagement, right? Like more people stay on the Facebook platform than they may do on the Google platform. So in you guys' opinion, which one matters more? Is it the traffic that, that Google gets or is it the engagement that Facebook gets? Yeah, I'll take this. So people go to Facebook for the social aspect of it. So Google actually is going to help solve a problem that they need versus, you're right, people do spend a lot of time on Facebook, but are they shopping on there? Are they looking for an answer on there? Probably not. Um, so no other platform has the reach that Google does in terms of the amount of searches that are happening every single day. I totally agree with that. Could say better myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So no comment on that, Anthony? I, I totally agree with that. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right, so let's get into some of the nitty gritty of why our people or why our viewers are likely watching this video, which is, okay, if I am starting a new business or I'm starting with digital advertising, which platform is it better to start on between Google ads or Facebook ads? So I think with Facebook and Instagram ads, um, I love Facebook and Instagram ads for any new business. And the reason why is one, because again, it's pay per impression. So you get to spread your dollars out a lot further. But not only that, if you're advertising on Facebook and Instagram, 
you're actually going to not only focus on driving traffic to your site, but you are actually building brand awareness. Now, a key component to that is having an updated social media profile and constantly post and keep your profile up to date. But you're really killing two birds in one stone. Though when you start advertising on Facebook, Instagram, the main goal is to drive traffic from the platform over to your site. But what you'll find is that if you get in front of the right audience, you'll have an indirect effect on your following and your brand awareness. So I think when it comes down to it, I'm a big advocate of Facebook and Instagram ads for any new business. Um, however, if you are selling a high product service or um, a B2B service, or if you're in the service industry and not so much the e-commerce space, then Google ads can definitely be a benefit. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. But Catherine, what's your take on this? Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, you really have to ask yourself two questions. Have people heard of what you have to offer? And is this something that they would search for? Think about your own searches. I know myself, if I needed um, new tires or if I needed dry cleaning done, I would be on Google. I wouldn't be logging into Facebook and hoping to see an ad for it. Um, so I definitely would be searching for those types of things. So those are the big questions. Is this something people would search for? And of course, if the answer is yes, Google is definitely the place to start. Makes a lot of sense. So if Google is the best place to start and Facebook could be as well, um, which one would you say after you get it started, right? Like after you get start driving some momentum, which one, which platform would you say has the most potential to drive results? So uh, I think once you get the ball rolling and once you get it started, um, you really can intertwine both because you can use Google ads to start driving traffic and then start doing retargeting ads via Facebook and Instagram and vice versa. Um, but I believe once you actually get the ball rolling and you start getting started and you start actually making money, then investing in Google definitely makes a lot of sense at that point. And because again, the cost per click typically is a lot higher and the cost per advertising is a lot higher than Facebook, Instagram. So I would definitely say Google ads is the answer for that. Yeah, I agree. I think that um, you're going to see some more immediate sales or leads on Google. And just like Anthony said, I think that Facebook is the way that you're building that brand awareness side of it. And in a perfect world, you would do both. But of course, I do think Google, you're going to get that higher conversion um, quick quicker than you would on social media. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. Let's go ahead and move into our next question, which Anthony already kind of preluded to already, which is which companies, which type of companies will benefit more from maybe using Facebook ads than the other types of companies. So earlier, Anthony, you mentioned maybe e-commerce could make sense for someone who is trying to sell a specific type of product. But just overall, in a general sense, you know, what type of companies fit better based on the platform? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's really what it is. I think, uh, well, actually, I know when it comes down to service based, like Catherine mentioned, if somebody's looking for new tires, having an ad pop up saying, hey, if you need four new tires, click this ad now, come over probably wouldn't be the best approach rather than me. If I'm needing new tires, I go on Google and say four new tires near me or looking for tires near me or a tire repair shop near me. Um, I'm more qualified. I'm actually searching for that service based business. Um, however, if I'm selling, you know, t-shirts online or a cap that's for a specific industry or specific movie that I like, whatever it may be, I do think e-commerce via Facebook ads and uh, Instagram ads would definitely be the best approach. So B2B uh, or not B2B, but service based businesses, Google ads, uh, e-commerce facebook ads for sure yes i definitely agree with that i think that um social media is a great place for impulse shopping <laughs> and i can definitely um understand that side of it because i've been over there doing that side um but yeah if you're a local business if you have a product or service that solves a pain point um google advertising is definitely um gonna be more beneficial to your business Awesome. Awesome. So I think this has been extremely helpful for our viewers so far, but let's get into one final question. So final thoughts when we talk, when we're talking about the juggernauts between Facebook and Google, which one wins in your opinion? So me, uh, I love Facebook ads. Um, do I have a favorite? No, because they both work really well. Um, just kind of based off of the business that you're running. But me, love Facebook ads, love the fact that you can build brand awareness, love the fact that you can drive traffic for cheap. Um, it is a longer sales process. However, you're in it for a little bit of a longer term. And if you're looking to really build brand awareness, if you're looking to really drive traffic for as cheap as possible, um, then Facebook ads is definitely where to go. And that's 
to give him a cake in my book. I think you know my answer for this one. Um, Google advertising, I'm there for a quicker sale and a quicker turnaround. So I think Google ads is going to win in my book. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks so much for joining our show today. Um, and giving your perspectives on Google versus Facebook ads definitely has been fun. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Now what we want to hear from you. Which platform do you think is best between Google ads and Facebook ads? Tell us in the comments section below which one you started with, what kind of results you've seen, and more. And we'll answer any questions that you guys have in the comments. Um, as far as my take, of course, it really depends on your business as Catherine and Anthony very clearly explained um, that depends on what you're trying to serve. What's your goals? Are you looking for quick sales, immediate sales, and you're willing to pay a little bit more? You can afford that higher cost for acquisition. Then Google ads may be a good fit for you. But if you have a product that maybe people don't know of, and you want to grow it, you want to scale it, you want more millions and millions of people to be aware of it, then Facebook ads may be the best platform for you. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit us with a like and subscribe. And thank you so, so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.